Right. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth. And salutations and shalom to the hopeful elect that I came out to spread the gospel throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity and truth. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. And to Brother Yahweh from the great millstone Chicago camp, we got the Brother Yanagi and Manaki with me and a couple more brothers. We just down here doing a quick. A quick lesson before the lesson, cause it's um, it's taking kind of long to do the real lesson. So basically, we gonna get into it. We gonna open right up. Go ahead, brother. Oh, uh, this is Jeremiah chapter twenty-five, verse. A little louder. This is Jeremiah chapter twenty-five, verse twenty-eight. And it shall be if they refuse to take the cup at that at thy hand to drink, then shall they sit, thou say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh of hosts, Ye shall certainly drink. For lo, I begin to drink. I for, for lo, I began to bring evil on the city which is called by my name. Exactly. He said lo. Lo means look. He's about to bring evil to this place. And two-thirds of Israel, the our people, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true Israelites, they ain't looking. They ain't watching for nothing, man. They watching to see what's coming on on Friday on, on fucking BET. Go ahead. And should, should be ye utterly punished, ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, says Yahweh of hosts. Exactly. He's going to call for the sword upon all inhabitants of the earth. That's why the scripture, hey, somebody could somebody give me a Jeremiah 30 and 7 and, um, and um, get that in Matthew, the elect, those days will be shortened for the elect's sake. Because the elect, you know, which is, uh, which is a, um, a small number, a remnant, are the only people that's going to really dodge just on the mass scale, man. Right. The rest of the two-thirds of Israel... The nations, the, the so-called white man, hey man, ain't nothing beneficial happening to the so-called white man in the Third World War. Go ahead. Right. Hey, right, because scripture says, hey, he's gonna, he's, I think now he's gonna come to peace, well, with peace, to set peace, but well, uh, he's gonna come and send a sword, man. What's he gonna do with the sword? <laughs> like, y'all bugged out. They come. It's Revelation 12 and 12. Go ahead. Right. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. At last for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Exactly, and that's talking about the elect. Somebody get that one in Matthew. But this is the day that the Lord told you to look for. He said, Lo, he gonna bring this a sword upon all the inhabitants, man. This is the day, that great day, Jeremiah 30 and 7. And that, that all proves the Old Testament ain't, ain't done away with neither, because this is a prophecy in the Old Testament that's that we see and happen right before our eyes. Go ahead. This, uh, this Matthew 24 and uh, 22. And except those days shall be shortened, thou shalt no flesh be saved. Mm. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Exactly. So those days will be shortened for the sake of the elect. All right? Because that's who the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, the true name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, is going to have mercy on. Y'all can bring out, you know, whatever. Y'all got some precepts. This is going to be short, man. You know, we're going to wrap this up. You know, this is just, just going to be a 10 minute recording, man. The Lord willing. You got something else? Come. Come, go ahead. Uh, and somebody gets to Rock 10 and 8 in Revelation 12 and 12. Come, go this, ahead, uh, Menaki. This, uh, I'm this. Yeah. This I'm going to bring this out. This is a Rock 11. Yeah, uh, oh. 26, it's like, for well, it's e it is an easy thing into the Lord and a day of death to reward a man according to his ways, man. Mm. So when you understand this truth and you get into this thing, man, it's an easy life thing for the Lord to, to uh, give you what you what you deserve, man. If you strive lawfully, if you uh, uh, endure to the end. That's right. Because you have to endure, man. And we, we approach an evil times, man. Damn, so it's a life you. thing, man. Hey, the scriptures say, hey, because the Lord, hey, man, nothing is impossible with the Lord. And the scriptures say, I think it's in the book of Hebrews, he's a rewarder to those that diligently seek him. That's right. That's why we're keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, going out to the highways and the byways, enduring affliction, which is light, man. This is light. What the scriptures say is light and for a season. The only reason, hey, man, if your affliction feels too bad, too, too bad for you, then that means you got your, your mind wrapped around some shit that don't even matter. That, 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 well, without you say that, this verse 27 to Rock 11 and 27. The affliction of an hour, uh, an hour make a man forget patience. God damn, uh, Joe. 
I was thinking end, about that earlier. And his deed shall be, be discovered, man. But I couldn't find it. Go ahead. That's a lot. <laughs> that, that's that's beautiful, spirit. man. Because you got to understand, Damn. man. Like, these boy. niggas losing patience, man. Hey, they forgot that uh, the law, they forgot the Lord is really coming back, man. They forgot the prophecy need to be fulfilled, man. Hey, read the last part over. The last verse over. Come. It's a rock 11 and 27. The affliction of an owl will make a man forget patience. And his and, and his end deed shall be discovered. Forget pleasure. The forget pleasure. pleasure. Exactly. Cause, cause when we when we when the elect of Israel, Lord willing, we ought to elect to Israel. When the most high give us that power and we gonna round up these elites, man, it's gonna be worse than all the things. When they when they everything they thought they had on us, man, they gonna forget about it. They gonna forget about it, man. It ain't gonna feel good to them no more, man. Like he's saying uh, like on the movie Carrie, they all gonna laugh at you. You, you got some y'all? Con. <clears throat> because, be because, camera, man. Uh, because you were saying something about how, you know, if they are, are uh, people in this world are just being, you know, weighed down and just, you know, caring and, you know, going through so much, Con. then you, you said something has got their mind other than what should have their mind. Yep. Right? So uh, this is, uh, let me see, uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6, verse 15. Mm. It says, to think, therefore, upon her is perfection of wisdom, all right? And that her is wisdom and the perfection of it, all right? So if you're thinking about this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of, the, of these scriptures, Check it out. It says, and whosoever watcheth for her mm. shall quickly be without care. All right? So then you, you don't care about nothing else. Damn, that's a cut. You know what I'm saying? Uh, All you care about is uh, 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 crawling back into the good graces of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. How do you do that? By having this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and knowing how to do that. All mm. right? And listening to uh, uh, the men that's above you that the Lord set up. To teach you. Hey, because that's the only way you're going to get it, man. Right. A nigga asks us, oh, who taught you the scriptures? Nigga, who taught you to tie your shoes, man? Dumb so, nigga. Right. So anything anything else that you're, you're, you know, you're giving a fuck about that, you know, that bothers you, you know, that don't need to bother you. All right? As far as, like, you caring about it and you want it to do better and you want it to. We don't want to do better here as far as money, cars, clothes, and the hoes. Trying to be successful. Only success we want is the success of the understanding of these scriptures and how to please the most high. That's pure. Right. Okay? That's what we care about. Anything else, if it happens, it's just like, eh, oh well. Okay. You know what I'm saying? May the Lord give me the strength to deal with this. You know what I'm saying? And just keep it pushing. You know? But if you're watching for true wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, then you're going to be quickly without care. Time. All right, you, you don't you don't care for the things of this world. You don't care about the money, cars, clothes, and the hoes trying to be successful here, man. Right, yeah. Go ahead. Uh. This is a rock, uh, eleven and twenty-one. They say, "Marvel not at the works of a sinner, but trust in the Lord and buy in that labor, for it even the, it is an easy thing in the sight of the Lord, the son to make a poor man rich, man. It, 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 it's it's easy for the Lord to just just uh, ask him to read the next verse. They say. Uh, verse 22, the blessing of the Lord is the reward of the godly, and suddenly he make it his blessing to flourish, man. Mm. So it's easy for the Lord to just make us rich or, or put that, uh, you feel me, that, 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 um, uh, uh, you put that spirit upon us and make us, uh, be successful in this world, man. But that whole point of us going through this thing so we can inherit the kingdom of heaven, man, so that we can cherish it more, man. Hey, the Lord's just not gonna give you this this whole business if you don't know what to do with it, man. Hey, that's 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 a beautiful point, right. man. It's gonna it's it's gonna make you cherish it more, man. It, it would make you cherish it more because he's setting one that is low, you know, on high. That's why the Lord said, in the, in the life of a prophet, that's the lifestyle of a prophet, man. The Lord said he dwells in Psalms the thirty fourth chapter with us who have a, a, a contrite spirit, a broken and contrite spirit. Right. You got all this bullshit. You ain't gonna have a broken and contrite spirit. You see that nigga we just talking to on the phone. Yeah, he ain't gonna get it. Go ahead. So Proverbs chapter ten, verse two: Treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivers from death. And mm. that's what it is, man. And y'all worried about the? Hey, that's why we we work for an incorruptible crown, man. 
Mm. I just brought that out the other day. Yeah, but you guys do it for, for a corruptible one, man. This is not going to last, man. It ain't. Nikki, you come into this world, Nikki, you go out, man. So that's why wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of thy times and the times are now. That's right, bro. You know? Hey, this is uh, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 14. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead. And Hamashiach shall give thee light. Exactly. Thee light. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Salaki, which proves, which proves that these people who sleep and unconscious to this truth are dead. Yeah. Just like he said in Matthew 8 and 22, let the dead bear their own dead. Yeah. Verse 15. See there that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, you know? Hey, walking circumspectly is what? Well, going into the old path, man. Uh, mm. Of our forefathers, man. That's walking circumspectly. But y'all, hey, but fools despise knowledge, man. Y'all don't fear the blow. Oh, yeah, I'll send me outside, man. And that's what it is. Hey, that's what it is. Hey, hey. But he's gonna, hey, that, all that's gonna bite you in the ass, man. <laughs> like a snake in the grass. It says, <laughs> it says, um, verse 15, see, see then that ye walk circumstances that is fools, but as wise. Redeeming the, the time, time because the days, days are evil, man. Right. And we are some serious ass times, man. <laughs> hey, but the, like scripture says, the days of Noah, man. Y'all just go ahead. And we out, hey, the prophets, hey, the Lord sent his prophets out here to warn y'all ass. Hey, but y'all don't have an excuse now, man. Because y'all, hey, this, this truth is being spread to the four corners, man. Hey, everybody knows about the Hebrew Israelites, man. It's the main, it's the new trend, man. Especially when you can just grab the phone and see anything you want, man. That's why I said now they are without excuse. Right, but this is an everlasting trend, man. A righteous trend. The brother Matasi, you got something? Yeah, I got you, Cut, the brother cut. said, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pop up like a snake and bite you in that ass. And the brother said, it's uh, like a snake in the grass, right? <laughs> this is uh, Sirach 21. I'm starting one. It says, my son, has thou sinned, do so no more, but ask pardon for thy former sins, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, Sirach says, uh, the fifth chapter says, uh, 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 be not without fear to add sin unto sin, mm -hmm. man. You know? It says, flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. For if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. Mm. Right? The brother said it's going to bite you in that ass, man. The teeth thereof are mm. as the teeth of a lion slaying the souls of men. You see what I'm saying? And then I'm going to jump over to Sirach, uh, uh, the 23rd chapter, right? And it says, verse 2, the uh, Sirach 23 and 2, it says, Who will set scourges over my thoughts and the discipline of wisdom over my heart, man? Mm. Mm. And that's the wisdom of Solomon, the 6th chapter. It says, Wisdom shall meet thee in every thought. In every you know? thought. That's why it's I say, hey, Salaki, that's why I say in Soraka, an uh, eloquent man knew it when he slipped it. Because yeah. wisdom meeting him in every thought, man. These two turns don't think they going off. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, up. Uh. It's desiring and discipline, man. The true beginning of her of wisdom is desire and discipline, right? So now this is um back in uh, Sirach 23 and 2. It says, who will set scourges over my thoughts and the discipline of wisdom over my heart that they spare me not for my ignorances and it pass not by my sins? You know what I'm saying? So that's having that... That's having that discipline over yourself, man. You examining yourself and cutting yourself and checking yourself, man. I die daily. You know, done. You know. Hey, it's, you got more? No, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, read a little more, then we're gonna wrap it up. This is uh, verse three. It says, let, let my ignorances increase and my sins abound to my destruction. <laughs> and I fall before my adversaries and my enemy rejoice over me whose hope is far from thy mercy, man. So all you niggas, man, hey, Esau is, 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 is uh, uh, what, what did it say? It says, and my enemies rejoice over me. Esau rejoicing at y'all niggas acting the way y'all acting, man. Yep, that could be. That's why the scriptures say, um, the accuser of our brethren. Mm -hmm. That's Esau, what he's accusing you of. Esau know about the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. He knows you the Israelites. And as long as you stay sinning, he stay in power. All right, hey, hey, with that being said, I hope it was edifying. All praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh. 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 Yahwe